What is going on my Guardian Gamers? It is I, Birdman, back with another Destiny 2 build. And today I'm gonna be showing off a really solid Melee Prismatic Titan build. But before we get into that, I know you can follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on the video. Let me know if something you're interested in seeing down below, whether it's Titan Hunter or Warlock. Subscribe, become a member. Make sure you're checking out my Max Roll page. I'm now contributing over there. Doing some super awesome builds and all that fun stuff. And also check the description down below for our dim link. Now, let's get right on into it. Now, we always like to start off with the exotic for the setup, and that's gonna be an insurmountable skull for it. The perk reads kills with arc melee abilities, trigger health regeneration, and restore melee energy. For the prismatic subclass, we were given the thunderclap as the arc melee. So this is a really solid option to just get some massive damage while also getting health regeneration and then just getting that amazing melee back instantly. Now let's talk about the Prismatic subclass and everything that you should be putting on for this. First up for our super, I recommend Twilight Arsenal. Not only does it give you massive damage with the three axes you're able to throw, but it's also able to weaken targets. So you're just adding some good debuff to your super there, as well as the fact that it works really well with one of the artifact perks we're gonna talk about later. For our abilities, I recommend Thruster, mainly just for the fact it's able to give you just some good mobility around the battlefield, especially with a melee build, getting closer to targets and closing that gap as fast as possible. But if you're somebody who's just like needs some more defense, know that Barricade is also a phenomenal option. For our melee, I recommend Thunderclap, obviously. You're able to hold it down, increase the damage of this melee attack. It also increases a little bit of the range of it as well, so that's really awesome. But it's also for the fact that you're able to get more damage now with the recent buff it got, as well as damage reduction whenever it is fully charged. So you're able to stand in the thick of it, get off that melee as fast as possible, and then also get some health regen back from an insurmountable skull fort. For our grenade, Shackle Grenade is what I recommend personally uh, for the fact that you're able to get a good darkness debuff on target, suspend, and also just like stop enemies in their tracks, be able to close the gap and get that good melee off as fast as humanly possible. For our aspects, knockout is an absolute must for the fact that we're able to get that increased melee range and damage when we are critically wounding targets or breaking their shields. It's just gonna constantly amplify us as well, so we're getting that easy light buff on ourselves uh, and able to just like constantly increase our health and just <laughs> keep on punching. And the second aspect we're gonna use is Diamond Lance so that we're able to stop more targets, get another Darkness debuff on them. Shatter is absolutely insane now in the final shape, so definitely recommend taking as much advantage of Diamond Lance as you humanly can. I've always been a big stan of it, and it has just definitely stood the test of time, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to our fragments, first up, Facet Devotion is a great one for the fact that we're gonna be getting Strand and Stasis debuffs on targets, so it's just gonna give us a easy light transcendence energy uh, throughout our entire playthrough. Facet of Protection giving us a solid amount of damage reduction in conjunction with one of the artifact perks we're gonna have. We're gonna be able to kind of stand up to anything and then if anything, uh, we're able to just get a melee off on targets and get instant health regeneration back. It is really freaking juicy. Facet of Courage, any of our arc, solar, or void abilities deal increased damage to targets afflicted by darkness debuffs. So. Again, that's going to be targets that are suspended up in the air, unraveling, severed, or even, like I said before, with like Diamond Lance, frozen or slowed in place. Facet of Purpose is going to be our next one. Whenever we pick up an Orb of Power, we're going to get that easy Void Overshield since we have Twilight Arsenal as our uh, super. It's just going to be an easy way to constantly keep up damage reduction in the thick of it. And then finally, Facet of Sacrifice, while you have an Arc Solar Void buff, Ability Final Blows, Grant, Bonus, Darkness, Transcendence, Energy. So we're able to fill up that other side of the bar really fast since we're pretty much going to be Amplified, Radiant, and also uh, Void Overshielded almost all the time. Now, when it comes to some weapons that you should be using for this setup, first up for the exotic that I recommend is going to be Tractor Cannon. It's just a great way to constantly debuff targets and suppress them around you so that you're able to get off that easy Thunderclap to its full charge and also deal more damage with said Thunderclap. Now, when it comes to the mods and everything you're going to be using for this setup, first up on our helmet, I'm going to recommend double hands-on for the fact that you're able to get that Twilight Arsenal back fast. I recommend using that as much as humanly possible. It is a very fun super to use. Also, for the fact that whenever you pick up those axes, you can just kind of like run around and slash with them or just chuck it as is and get that weakening effect again on targets. Also, Heavy Ammo Finder, great one to constantly be able to use that tractor cannon so you're always debuffing and suppressing targets. On our gloves, triple heavy handed uh, so that we have that one second cooldown on getting those uh, final blows with our powered melee to get those orbs of power. Uh, this is really great for the fact that 
Uh, you'll constantly be able to just run around and regular punch targets as long as you have knockout going. It's going to count as a powered melee so that you're able to get those orbs back and then constantly just keep a void overshield. You'll notice that in the gameplay, I'll, I'll just be running around punching a lot and just constantly keeping that up. On our chest piece, I just went with just like basic resistance mods across the board just so that I'm able to kind of cover my bases. No, this is completely up to you. On our boots, I went with an invigoration so that I can get my melee back a little bit faster whenever I pick up an orb of power. Uh, this is great for like, let's say like you charge up your thunderclap on a yellow bar enemy and somehow it has like a quarter health left, something like that. You're able to grab an orb and get that back a little bit faster, but know that you can just kind of keep on running around punching targets and it'll recharge your melee faster anyway. Also recuperation, so we get a little bit more health whenever we pick up an orb of power and absolution so that all of our ability cooldowns are getting a bit of a, a, a cooldown whenever we pick up an orb of power. And then finally on our Titan Mark, I'm using outreach so that whenever I use that thruster in your targets, I'm gonna get some melee energy back. Reaper so that whenever I use my thruster, my next weapon kill is gonna give me an orb of power. And then finally powerful attraction so that I'm able to grab all those orbs of power around me whenever I use my thruster. Now, when it comes to our artifact, it's mainly going to benefit us just kind of the fourth and fifth column. But obviously, when it comes to like the first one, just match the weapons to whatever uh, champion mod is in there at that time. Obviously, in the second column, I'm using the call. So something like overcharged armory and winning hand are beneficial to it, as well as thread blast. So that whenever I get those threadlings, I can shoot with my call and have that huge explosion. But again, fourth column is where it's really going to be important. Void Hegemony is going to be big for us getting over shields whenever we defeat weakened targets with our super. Radiant Orbs, so we're constantly radiant whenever we pick up an Orb of Power. And also Galvanic Armor, so we have some more damage reduction as we uh, are amplified, which is going to be pretty much consistently. And then in the fifth column, Expanding Abyss, so that our Twilight Arsenal is going to do a whole lot more damage. Uh, it's a void source, void, void source, void source. So it's going to deal increased damage to weaken targets, obviously. And then finally, transference so that we are able to get that uh, good transcendence energy back whenever we get weapon kills when, while we are our transcendent and also grant that increased grenade and melee damage while we are transcendent. We always like to talk about how this is going to be viable for end game content, especially with champions. First up for barrier, we don't really have anything other than the radiant orbs we're gonna be picking up. So do know if you are going against barriers and you wanna use this setup exactly how it is, take off the overload hand cannon that you currently have on. Uh, your tractor cannon is able to handle overload champions on its own with the suppression effect. So don't have to worry about it. So then you can just naturally have Radiant on your second slot for me, that Zally's Bane. Unstoppable, our Shackle Grenade will be able to handle that for us, but also currently this season, uh, sidearms are unstoppable. So that call works perfectly. And finally for overload, like I mentioned before, you can use the overload hand cannon if you want. Uh, you can use the slow effects from our uh, diamond lances, or you can obviously just use tractor cannon to suppress targets. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Again, make sure you're checking out that Max Roll page and seeing all the different builds from all the great creators that are over there right now. Me, Chadley99, Squirrely, Dan, Shield Maiden, and Chunky all working really hard over there. Uh, also, give a thumbs up on the video. Let me know some of your interest in seeing down below, whether it's Titan, Hunter, or Warlock. Subscribe, become a member, and follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you have a great night, day, or whatever it may be.